The U.S. economy added 156,000 jobs last month, but that figure does not tell us the whole story. I'm joined by Stefan Casriel, CEO of Upwork, the largest freelancing website. Nice to see you in New York. It's good to see you too. And you believe this data that we look at every month and we put so much emphasis in is really leaving out a big part of the workforce and that's freelancers. Absolutely and that's uh, the study we're doing right now is showing that 55 million Americans are freelancing in America right now and um, that's essentially the secret weapon of the US businesses and they're not properly accounted for in the BLS numbers. Why do you think that is? Well this workforce is growing really fast so um, some of these reports have been going on for a long time and what's happening now is there's this new backbone of the economy that's emerging due in great part to technology. People are finding it much easier to find jobs through a platform like Upwork and then able to communicate over video conferencing and working from everywhere in the US. So you recently did a survey that looked at freelancing in America, the third survey you've done. What were some of the important trends that came out in terms of the growth? Well, probably the most important trend is the growth itself, right? So freelancers now are earning a trillion dollars a year. And uh, we just added two million freelancers over the last uh, three years. And so it's essentially the fastest growing part of the U.S. economy. And it is something that more and more U.S. businesses are realizing. It makes them more nimble, more agile, it allows them to tap into um, highly skilled talent that they struggle to find locally as full-time employees. One interesting finding in your survey, I think a lot of people think freelancers is a younger generation. And yes, by percentage it is, but there is a lot of older workers who are choosing to freelance as well. Absolutely. So what we are finding here is that yes, millennials, almost half of the millennials are freelancing. And we hear businesses say, it's really hard to find young people who want to work for us full time. Well, that's precisely it. They don't want to work full time. They want to work at freelancers. So go find them on freelance platforms like Upwork. But we're also seeing uh, the Gen X generation that has elderly parents or young children at home and for whom a full time job is not necessarily the best option. As well as we're starting to see baby boomers who realize I don't want to really retire. You know, I don't want a full time job anymore but I'm going to live for a very long time and I want to remain active in society. And in terms of the industries where freelancing is the most popular right now, what are you seeing? So we're seeing this happen all over the US and we see young people, older people, uh, lots of diversity in there. But what we see increasingly is very highly skilled people. You know, if you come to our site as an example, what you'll find mostly is uh, very talented engineers and designers and lawyers and accountants. And these are a boom for small businesses in America that frankly are struggling to find this uh, talent locally. There's been a lot of talk and books written about the so-called gig economy. We've not heard a ton of it in the current presidential campaign cycle. You actually surveyed freelancers. What were some of the findings there in terms of politics and what that means to them? That's right. So the shocking number here is 85% of these 55 million people are saying that they will vote. And of those, 70% are saying that essentially their vote is still up for grabs. Uh, so when polled, they say they're currently favoring Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump, but literally 70% of them said their vote could be swayed based on a candidate that would be addressing their needs and their interests. And the shocking finding here is 70% of them are saying nobody's talking about them. And that's really something that needs to change. We keep talking about small businesses and we forget the other side of the equation, which are who are the people that are doing the work for these small businesses. And these are the entrepreneurs of today. They're the freelancers. Well, it's been great learning a little bit more about the freelance economy and putting some numbers around it. Stefan Castrell, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Straight.